Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Eva Wamboi and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Now, if you know me and if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that I I am a serious, a serious, serious <laughs> uh, tracker when it comes to tracking my expenses. Like, I literally want to know what I have spent, how much I have spent, what have I spent on on a daily basis. And let me tell you, it can be very exhausting, especially if you're doing this on a daily basis. I honestly got tired of writing down today. I spent 100 bob on transport. I bought mandazi for 40 shillings. I bought um, tomatoes for 50 shillings. I did this and this and this. I honestly got so tired and it was really stressing me out, you know, just because I had to make sure that I have written down. And if I do not write it down on that very day that I have incurred that expense, then I know that I have to remember it so that I can write it tomorrow. Sometimes even three days would pass by and have not tracked down, I've not written down everything that I have spent. And now I have to recall where did I spend this? And sometimes I would even go back to, you know, my phone expenses, look at maybe my M-Pesa for those who use mobile money. And I see, I sent 210 to this person and I'm like, okay, what was this money for? And and before I would eventually, you know, I would eventually know like how much I would I have spent because what I usually do is that I just go through my day and I basically replay how did that day go? What did I do from this point to this point so that I can be able to remember all the expenses that I, I have made. And it used to really bug me, especially when I have so many expenses, like there was so much that I needed to remember and to write about. However, guys, I really stopped doing my daily tracking because it really took a lot of time. It was stressful and... I think I just got tired. I just got tired of tracking daily. Now, what I do right now is I use cash envelope wallets and I have done a couple of videos. I recently purchased a cash envelope wallet. If you would like to know more about this, you can click on this link and I'm telling you this cash wallet has been a lifesaver. Now, before I even purchased this cash envelope, I literally, this cash envelope wallet, I literally used to have envelopes i know one of my friends can attest to this because we were doing this together we could at the beginning of the month whenever we get our salary we could do our budgeting for the for the month and what we used to do is the amount of money let's say money for transport we used to put it in a separate envelope money for food put it in a se separate envelope money for whatever it is we used to put it in different envelopes depending on the categories like envelopes that you can get from the shop yeah that was before we i got the cash envelope uh the wallet which you have seen through this video now um now that i have a cash envelope wallet i mean it's so much easier i do not have to use several envelopes put in different places so that i do not mix up all the money now i can just have all of it in one wallet and what that has helped me is that i know that i have put money in my wallet in my wallet and i inside the wallet i have an envelope for food for example so i know that i have my food money in this envelope so whenever i need to buy food i'll just go and remove some money from that envelope go to the shop go do my shopping if there is any balance i will return it to that envelope now i stopped writing down what i have bought you know i stopped writing down uh everything that i have bought because tomorrow i will still need to go buy something i just go to my same food envelope pick some money go buy whatever i need to buy come back return the change into the same envelope now at the end of the month you may um, end up uh, maybe exhausting all that money so you may end up um, if if it was not enough you may end up uh, looking for more money so that you can be able to buy food let's say if you you needed to buy food but you may also find that you did not 
exhaust all that money that you spent on food so what i do now is that let's say my food envelope had say 5000 kenya shillings and at the end of the month i i have say maybe 250 shillings has remained because that is what is in the envelope now i will know that my food i spent 4750 on food for this month and now i have 250 kenya shillings remaining i am honestly not worried about what is entailed in the 4750 because i used to just pick money from there go buy what i need to buy return the change like that and i do the same for all the categories that i have even if it is transport money if it is entertainment money whatever whatever it is that is what helped me to stop uh tracking my expenses daily honestly before i used to get back from work and write down everything that i have spent money on i've spent this on food on i don't know transport on what i bought something on the road i i i bought a pair of shoes and all of those things i stopped doing that now i just spend as long as i'm just picking money from the right envelope such that i am not using transport money for food or food money for transport uh so i'm picking money for food i'm spending that money on food and i'm returning the change to food and i'm doing the same for all them uh, categories that I have and at the end of the month I'm able to go back into my envelopes and I see I have a balance of let's say 250 shillings that means I have spent for 47.50 on food I have a balance of say 100 shillings on transport that means I have spent for example 2400 on food if on transport if my transport for the month was 2500 and the same applies to all the envelopes that I had and I used to do this even before I got my cash envelope wallet but I used to use normal envelopes now that has really saved me a lot i do not have to worry about how much i have spent uh, every single day but at the end of the month i'm able to know that i actually spent this amount of money on this um on this uh on this budget so this has saved me so much time i am more peaceful <laughs> with you know with my money i do not have to worry about uh, writing down the daily expenses and with time it becomes so natural to you you're able to even know that you know what i'm not able to afford this so i'm gonna skip it maybe i'm gonna do it um next time and that is how i stopped tracking my daily expenses as long as i have my money in my envelopes and i pick the money from the envelopes use it and return it to the envelope that that money belongs to then i am good and at the end of the month i can actually do an analysis of how i have spent money in that month now guys i don't know what you do but if you like what i do you can definitely uh do what i do if you don't have a cash envelope right now you can definitely just use normal envelopes and if you would like to purchase um cash envelope wallets there are uh some which are being sold in the market right now i saw on jumia there are cash envelope wallets and also on instagram there are people who are selling um cash envelope wallets if you can get one from amazon as well if you're able to like pay for shipping and all of that then feel free to get yourself uh, a cash envelope wallet if you uh, you'd like to do cash budgeting. I know that some of us may prefer to just deal with uh, Digital you want to use your mobile money or your card and that is okay, but if you'd like to uh, To start uh, doing cash budgeting then you should definitely get yourself a cash envelope wallet or you can customize go just buy normal envelopes from the shop and you are good to go. You do not have to go uh, Very expensive, right? Good Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it beneficial. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video with anyone you think will find this beneficial. Remember to thrive and not just survive. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.